Ah, uh, what is good friends? I got a panic attack for a second that I might miss the start. X-Ray versus Jimmy Trovic. Ah, uh, nice bulky offense from X-Ray's side. With Mega Harrow Mega Hara Cross, um, Superior. Didn't he like 6 or blunder with this exact team? Let me just uh, reopen the lobby. And let me look at... I think Jimmy Trovic brought this to Smog Tours and beat Blunder with uh, Curse Gastrodon. Yeah, here we have the lobby chat. Um, this is our OU SPL week 7. So the Clefable could like go for T-Wave, so if it's if it's sub-superior, this is like good for X-Ray. He just goes for Leaf Storm. Okay, he doesn't care about the potential T-Wave. I mean, he had, a, he had an X schedule in the back, so maybe he saw it. But I them do not go for T-Wave. Blanda said Zem, Zem are 6 O's. I like a Zem. I mean... Focus Blast can miss. But yes, I like Zem is a big threat. Oh, it's Knock of Superior. That's, um, I think that's used for stuff like AV Torn. Actually, I don't know, what else is it used for? Like, just to get rid of items, obviously. So the scramble's just lefties. Um, there's a Clefable, so yeah, nice play by... Oh, I thought he would go with something else. I thought maybe... Excadrill was an option there. Like... Not going for Skull was a good play, is what I meant. Because Clefable <laughs> just doesn't care, because it has Magic Guard, and... If you don't have T-Wave on your Slowbro doubling, that's fine. I just don't know why this is the double he made. Um... So the Skamri's Rowand, Roost, um, probably has a stacking team. So he's probably Roxclef, uh, Spikes, Roost, Rowand, Skam with one attack. Maybe Iron Head for the Yancy. Um, 11%, I don't know if that's the death of his death Skam since, like, yeah, I don't know the call. I haven't played ours in a while. So we don't see Superior much in Sun and Moon. I hope the audio is getting picked up since... I just restarted my computer and this audio, new audio deck, this recording program I'm using messes up sometimes. Um. What's my train of thought? So he's just uh, going for the boost. Like, this leaf storm is gonna start hurting. I mean, yeah, okay, only 34. Yeah, what I was trying to say is he has Heather's deck with uh, probably Rock's Clef and Spike's Garm and then Tita to pursue um, Ladi. Pursue the Defoggers, or it also beats Zapdos because that's like Stone Edge and Zapdos wants to switch and then you pursue them and then you weaken that. SD Hair, nice play. I mean, the Fable lives a hit if it's. If it's the mixed defensive one, it's I think it's it might be a roll if it's Adamant Hera to Oko with Rock Blast. But if it's the, the, the more fist death one, it definitely lives. I don't think it would be unaware. Magic Guards just Just makes the most sense to me, because I don't think he has Havoc control if he has Havoc stack. And this is just nice to spam. Like Magic Guard is just a good ability. So you don't get hit by like your own sandstorm from Tita and from hazards and burn and everything like that. Nox superior crippled sea train is what Porsche says. And Fuga said wait, knock HP ground lolts. <laughs> I mean he he's just keeping the Zama in the back, the Alakazam. Blana said in the beginning that this thing six hours, I didn't even pay attention. Like, I didn't even look at Jimmy's entire team, I was just looking at the X-Ray's team. And then Blunder said in the chat, I like I'm six souls, I was looking. And then I looked over to Jimmy's team. Like, I like I'm does a lot of work, let's put it this way. I don't I don't want to say it's six souls automatically. And yeah, like I said, Focus Plus can miss. Focus Plus is a good move. So T-Tech can beat Alakazam when we won. 
Slowbo also lives a Shadow Ball, and if it has T-Wave, it can cripple the Zammer, but I don't think it has T-Wave. The way he played the Slowbo, not going for T-Wave versus the incoming Clef earlier. As Mans just... What? What did he predict there? I guess he was more Spadef Clef, and he didn't want to just die to Adamant Rock Blast. So he sacks the Luddy, which... Laddie does some, like, Laddie didn't do super, like, a lot of work to X-Ray, but it could have done, like, weakened the Tita. Or weakened the Excadrill with a Draco. But yeah, the Tita didn't do that, like, Laddie doesn't do that much work, so I understand the sack. And X-Ray decides to sack off his superior, he's gonna get 2 it KO'd here. Okay, this is what I was talking about. He makes a really aggressive play trying to hit the Tita on a switch in with Focus Blast, so in case he misses, he can go for another one, I guess. Yeah, that is bad for Jimmy, because Psychic doesn't kill this from full. If he had Karma, he could have gone for Karma there and just run, run through the six. If it's not a fancy turn. So it's Glare Knockoff. That's a really interesting set. Glare's, yeah, Glare's for Tornadoes for sure. Like, I said, Knockoff was for Torn. But that's mainly on Gengar um, to run knockoff, so Tornadoes cannot switch that well in. On Superior, I look super nice for for Torn. I mean, who is taking this close combat? I know there's a like Clefable, but the way he switched his Clef out, I don't think he's fifth death. It's gonna do like, oh, okay, the rock blasted. Okay, that didn't do that much, even though he got a crit. So it wouldn't have killed from full earlier when he had the SD, but I'm pretty sure this thing lifts a moon blast. Oh, X ray, uh, Steve Angelo. Asking Porsche if he wants to play now for SPL, I think. But man said he's tired. <laughs> Steve Angelo making some jokes in the chat. Fuga said it's not, it's not Max Attack Hera, he doesn't get it. Yeah, I don't know what this Hera Crest spread is, but that just didn't do that much. Maybe the Clef is just super defensive. But it's probably not. I don't think it's Max Death Clef. Okay, so Jimmy's taking the longer time. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's considering um, soft balding versus moon blasting, and he decides to moon blast. Um, the balloon on the Excadrill didn't do it much this matchup. Like, guess we don't can hit it with Scald, not only with Earthquake. So yeah, if he doesn't heal this, he cannot switch into X uh, into Hera anymore. I feel like um, he will go scum or a uh, gastron. Yeah, I mean he already made the gastron play when I said it, but that was uh, that was what I was trying to say. And I could see him doubling here into. Into what? I thought into Clefable, predicting the. Um, he just makes the obvious scum. Re I mean, actually, he could have scalded there. I don't know why I said obvious scammer. I thought he would try to double into Clef to get some extra lefties back so he can switch into Heracross later on, potentially. Wait, how did spin to 8%? That's a lot of damage. Is that an element executor or a death guest? That's. Probably like more Spadef Gestro. So yeah, he spike 
Um, yeah, actually, uh, you already revealed it a few turns ago. But yeah, I think I was talking about that before I revealed it, not sure. So this is probably like support uh, with smooth rock. This is the first time that the Tita got sent. Yeah, that's the first time the Tita is out. So it's not confirmed smooth rock, but I would say it's smooth rock on this team. I, this could have fire blast, I could see that. You just gets up rocks, which is a like solid and fine play overall. Yeah, we have the we have it confirmed here. It's magic at clef, obviously. And he just wants to have this clef at full. I mean, X-ray can double here on the on the Skarmory. but he doesn't he doesn't have a good way to punish the Skarmory, honestly. Um, leftovers. X drill would be really good for X Ray in this matchup. To come in on Skarmory multiple times and like just keep hazards off because Rapid Spin has more PP than spikes. Like not having not having um, leftovers is a bit annoying because if you take chip damage from potential Iron Head or Brave Bird or from um, just Moon Blasts, like your X Ray gets worn down, which wouldn't happen if you had leftovers. I really don't see. Hmm. This is like kind of tough matchup for X-Ray, honestly. With the, uh, he can he can he can para flinch this, yeah. Okay, that did a lot. I think he sped up Skarm then. Did I say that earlier? I'm not sure. I thought <laughs> X-Ray said zero. Hello, that did a lot. I thought he would be like, if he was sped up Clef or mixed up Clef and more sped up Gastro, I thought he would be fist up Skarm, but. Plus the owner did a lot, so I'm actually not sure anymore. This comes in on a spike and this is just a free spin. I I guess X hmm, I guess X actually has a shot. That focus blast dodge early though was like uh, really annoying for Jimmy. Okay, so it gets the X drill in on NSD, not the X drill Zemma. <laughs> Blunder said no human makes that play. Only Jimmy Godwick. I mean, yeah, he's just psychics this time, okay. I mean, the, the Tita could also be Chopple. Because he's so weak to Alakazam. Like, X-Ray's build is interesting, but I like, guess the type of balance that I would use back in Auras. Or like bulky offense. Like, we don't know the Talonflame set. It could be bulk up set, it could be offensive with SD. It could be Willowist Taunt. Yeah, never mind the, the, the team you fixed up Blunder with had a Mega Guard Trump, but didn't have a Heracross. But it's kind of the same team, I think it also had. Okay, he hits and it's chopper like I thought was an option because he's weak to Zam, but he pursued it. Um, maybe he, he probably doesn't have crunch. Uh, it's funny how Zam doesn't take Stealth Rock damage, um, Sandstorm damage, I meant, because it traced Sand Rush. I mean, he has to he has to hit another one anyway. But that pursuit actually bounced off like <laughs> it is like bulky. He just went hard telling him he dodged so he could have stayed in, but yeah. Yeah, it's leftovers telling. So I think it's the, the it could be bulky SD Willowers, but it could be What what defense boost is he talking about? Not just that oh yeah, regular Alakazam versus Mega Alakazam. Let me just data that in the chat. Regular Alakazam has 45 defense and Mega has uh, 65. <laughs> Porsche, I can guess. X ray cult with regular Zem. Yeah, this could still be. um. Could 
could still run a few different sets the town flame if he's the will wisp for death set like I think he will go f I think he will go for will wisp like uh, Skarmory doesn't beat this one we want if it has taunt especially like they don't want they don't want the fla uh, flavors most of the time so he will will it try to roost here yeah, he did roost so I assume it's um brave bird taunt as the roost or um will it wisp over taunt will it wisp over taunt obviously what I've tr what I meant to say is not taunt because he would have taunted there if he had to taunt. Good God! Oh, he I made it like mid ground play. Back to the roost slash Tita because Tita could also come out there predicting a taunt. And Scarfter could then just fifty. Then it would be fifty fifty pursue versus Stone Edge. Or oh, in general, he doesn't have the best switchings to Scarfter. Like X Ray doesn't have that. I guess Heracross can switch in once. Yeah, Heracles could switch in once, I think. Because this thing is so bulky. He probably said HP if he's 2, because I'm Fuga said in the chat he's not max attack. <laughs> ABR said, this hurts me physically, that cleft world. <laughs> yeah, he predicted the cleft, but... Jimmy can just go back to Skarmory. The thing is, he, mm, Skarmory will take rocks. So yeah, X-Ray is getting somewhere. He's not getting like super... He's not like in a huge... Advantage or anything, but... I can get behind his plays, like they're making some sense. So I'm Fuga saying Mumla is the zero IBR. It's pretty much um I mean the focus blast on the swap early was so annoying because he had to switch his Alakazam out. And he could have just then killed the superior next turn, his Skarmory wouldn't have been paralyzed. Skarmory being paralyzed actually might not be that bad though, because he can't get Wolves by Ten of Flame. Yeah, extra with the aggressive plays. Like, if he gets the flinch ones. He just gets a kill. Like, if he gets the flinch. Ah, he gets a crit. And a flinch. I mean, it is para flinch. It is about to happen, but. So, yeah, I was saying earlier, X Ray has, like, bad matchup. The, 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 like, focus plus dodge was the superior helped him out a bit. It's not over yet. It's not over yet, but. Actually, it is over because this is so low. This does to rocks. Yeah, I didn't say anything. It, it is over. It is over. This, this, yeah. This not being healthy sucked. I mean, he can pivot into Talonflame once again. Yeah. So, 23 damage. I don't know if that's bulky Talonflame. I think it's max HP. Not sure if it's Spidev. I'm not sure. Like, how much... I really cannot say how much the, the focus blast missed on the swap mattered. But it like, it caused it... It caused it... Like, Jimmy would have gotten a free kill there. I mean, the, the trouble teacher from X-Rays part was nice to have because otherwise the focus blast would have killed the Tita and he would have just gotten blown back and the pursuit damage that he got off on the Zam because he was able to live a focus blast was like really huge also getting rocks up early was huge and Jimmy not having hazard control and he has a toxic slower which is clutch so this was Jimmy's last ditch effort to curse up with Gastrodon Gastrodon actually beats his team if he didn't have the toxic Gastrodon would have put in a lot of work if it's not Bullet Seed Hera, which is not a thing. I think they run CC, Rock Blast, SD, Pin Missile, or Substitute. Not Pin Missile, I think. 
The defensive GG by Jimmy Turnbull. He goes for goes for scold, boosts his man up. Um, yeah, nice to see X will win. I mean, cannot say anything. I like when German players win. Like, um, <laughs> I'm not complaining when a German player wins. Nice and juicy SBL game. Oh, he's not lefty, so his helmet's lower. I don't know if... Oh, ABR asked if it's helmet. Yeah, okay, it's confirmed helmet there. <laughs> Blunder non-CB tar showing it's worse every game. <laughs> like, I honestly, like... I was like when I saw Blunt, I say Zemrock. Zem, not Zemrock. Zem's playing later, Zemrock. That's why maybe he's mixed that up. So he scarfed, so that did nothing to the slow one. Herrock is just. He, said, he is sub, he is sub. I said he could be sub over. He said, and I said, he could be sub over. Over Pin Missile. I, I, I said that option. Yeah, I mentioned that one. Um, Yeah, blows the gas to away. Nice plus two. Yeah, when, like, Blondo said in the chat earlier that Zamrock's... I said Zamrock again. Alakazam, six O's. I was just, like, looking at his extra team and I really thought that it actually does six O, but then, like, I realized that it probably chopped very a few turns in the game, I think. And, yeah. Like I said, Miss Unsurp is annoying. But. I don't think it. Mm. Like, at the moment, I don't think it was game deciding anymore. Um, The thing is, the Skarmory wouldn't have been paralyzed. The Skarmory wouldn't have been paralyzed, so the Para Flinch. Um, was less likely to happen. I mean, he got the Flinch, not the Para, on that one turn where he killed the Skarm. But I think it was a crit Flinch. I think this could have gone either way if he didn't miss the focus blast. And, but as it was, like actually, I still had a good shot at winning. So let us just look. Let us just look. Um, what team was X-ray on again? I think he was on the, the Falcons. X-ray is Jimmy Turvik. So they're actually three and one up with the Raiders. Like the Raiders didn't lose a week yet. Wow. So actually pulling through for them. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. This was actually like considering it's Auras. Auras is not that fun of a gen. This was actually kind of enjoyable. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. My duration wasn't on, wasn't super on point, but it was okay. It was okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have more expel content coming for you over the next days. Hopefully, get some guests on deck. I am Doc Witch and I am signing out. Peace, friends.